Hi everybody, this is Yaya and I'm showcasing a project that I did using my Mind's Eye paper stack and it was the Bella Bella collection. I had it for a while and I liked it so much that I never used it so over the past couple weeks I decided to start using my stash. So I made two mini albums. This is the first one and this was a Cosmo Cricut Blackboard um, album that was given to me in a rack and I just used the, I distressed the edges and I used the paper for the, um, I had some chipboard elements and I used the Ranger Crackle paint Crackle accent on here and it's the um, paper is still from the same collection. It's actually this paper here and it comes out like really bright. And I left these two pages here for journaling where you can still put a photo there. And these are photo pages. I like the little splash of color with the red bird. And I just needed something for the last two pages, so I went through my old book stash, and I get my books from the dollar store. Um, it don't matter what the books is about. I just um, get them from the dollar store, and that way I can use it. And I don't feel bad about um, cutting up, you know, books, but it's a dollar store book. And that's the back of it. For the front, I used... Um, um, butterfly and I have glued it on with um, all the flowers came from Iron Roses and this um, chipboard accent that I use and I used the crackle paint medium on here and a, a tag or a small photo can go right on it I didn't overly decorate it because it was kind of small, and I don't know if I'm going to make a, a mini box for it yet, just yet. So, I'll decorate it more once I know what the album will be for. The next paper out the same collection is this. This was a heart album that I got from AC Moore. It was in a dollar bin, but it was $2. And I used the butterfly. The other tag with crackle accent. Recollection flowers, that's these. The biggest ones are the recollection flowers. Um, this one here is the iron rose flower, the mini roses, iron roses. This butterfly actually came from a sprig that was given to me, and I just needed a pop of color, so I used it because I like purple. And more recollection flowers. This is the front cover. A recollection flower at the bottom the iron roses and I left this here so that it could be used for journaling and this um, it came with like four chipboard pages they're kind of thick so I didn't want to overly decorate it so I, I uh, used this accent I have a stash of chipboard accents, so I left this here so a photo can tuck right in. Tuck right in here. And the same thing for here that a photo can tuck in. And here is um paper bag album. Uh, not paper bag album, sorry, dollar store book that I just tear the pages out and I uh, walnut ink stained it. Same thing here, chipboard accent, covered with the paper with the um, crackle accent and the paper here so you could just stick the photo right there. Same thing for here. This is the last two pages. I left this here for journaling. And a back page, more Iron Roses flowers and a big recollection flower. And the back is plain. And with the leftover papers, I took like eight pages and I cut them down 
to six by six and I used them and with the leftover pages I also made um, a, a canvas album a little canvas hanger this was um, a Prima Prima um, say with bling and I never used this I had this for a while and I never wanted to use it and I decided to use it and I really like how it came out um, this flower here, this blue one here, came from AC Moore in the floral, you know, um, the wedding section, recollection flower, and I took the, um, the green stone from it and just twisted it around my paintbrush to give it that curly effect. Chipboard tag, so that, um, Rick did it. This has the um, crackle accent on it and some pearls, so you could just stick a photo right under it. Recollection flower. Um, butterfly that came from AC Moore. And another one of the uh, floral wedding section flowers. And I used the pages from the book. And I mosh podged it. And then I stuck the background paper down and I mosh podged that too. Because I thought it looked, it looked more shinier and it goes with the um, crackle accent piece. And this is all the papers that I use. Pretty much the same papers, same elements, and everything. It came out with three different looks from the um, Bella Bella collection from my mind's eye. And I love how it turned out. I will probably um, hang this up with ribbon so it can hang off the wall. Thank you for watching my video. You can leave a comment right at the bottom. Bye.